my name is Leela and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are just going to go over some of the ingredients that I've gotten some questions on. So let's go ahead and visit my Chinese pantry. Since many times I get questions about specific ingredients that I use, I figure I would do just a little video on some of the things that um, I frequently get questions about. Now, right here is my Chinese pantry. I have all the ingredients that I use right in this pantry right here. Now, I'm going to go through just a few of them that um, I think are questioned often. So, we're going to start with rice wine vinegar. Now, rice wine vinegar, when I say rice wine vinegar in a recipe, um, rice wine vinegar and rice vinegar, those words are often used interchangeably. But the one that I use most of the time is this, um, just a plain rice vinegar. You can also get seasoned rice vinegar, but for all of my recipes, I use this plain rice vinegar here. And basically, what it is, it is... Um, and if you can see the ingredients here, if I can get it in focus, it's basically sweet rice diluted to a 4.5% acidity. So that is the type of vinegar and that's the acidity amount that you want to use in the recipes that I've done here on YouTube. So that's the rice wine vinegar. Now another one that I've gotten a lot of questions on is thick soy sauce. Now, thick soy sauce you can usually find at almost any oriental grocery store. Um, and it's made out of molasses, salt, and soybean extract. Basically, it's um, a regular soy sauce base with molasses added to it. So, but that is a thick soy that I use in my recipes. Now, Shaoxing wine is a just a regular rice-based cooking wine. And a lot of times, I like to substitute that with actually just a regular cooking sherry. And this is the sherry that I use when I say I'm using sherry in a recipe. But you can also use this Shaoxing wine. And um, I've actually just started using that instead of sherry. I don't know why. I just usually use sherry, even though it is Chinese recipes. So, um, but that is the Shaoxing wine that I use. Okay, and hot chili garlic sauce. This is the hot chili garlic sauce that I use. This can actually um, sometimes be found at just a regular grocery store, usually in the ethnic section. But um, this is the hot chili garlic sauce. Um, it's also called um, Sambla Olek, I think is how you pronounce it, and um, uh, chili sauce with garlic. I, I have a jug of this here. Um, this is basically the same thing. So any of these will work when I say hot chili garlic sauce. Another ingredient that um, I don't think I've used on any of the YouTube recipes just yet is a sweet chili sauce. And sweet chili sauce actually can sometimes be found in um, the regular grocery store. I think Maggie May actually makes a regular sweet chili sauce that uh, is in most grocery stores in the ethnic section. But this um, is just a nice sweet chili sauce here. And um, I'll start using that in some of the recipes in the future. Okay, and my frying oil that I use for deep frying, I use peanut oil. And um, it's basically, this is the bulk peanut oil that we have down here in the south. And um, I buy this and I do all my deep frying with this and then when I am finished with the oil I will put it into my other two containers um, I don't know if you can read this but this is basically regular oil and actually it was a mix of canola and peanut oil but now it's just peanut oil so I need to scratch that out but this is um, my oil that I've already used to deep fry and then this over here is used oil, but this is shrimp oil. So I've used this for fish and shrimp um, frying. So that's my used oil from the fish. And then once I've used it almost about 
I usually try and use it three times, but usually around two it'll start getting dark and kind of cloudy. Then what I'll do is I'll put it into another plastic container and um, I will either take it to a restaurant that will recycle it or I will throw it in the trash. Um, so it's best if you can, if you accumulate a lot of oil, like I sometimes do, to take it to a restaurant. Um, just ask your local restaurants if they recycle oil. A lot of them do. So that would be a great idea for anybody who's interested in preserving the environment. So keep that in mind. Oh, and my soy sauce. I actually buy this soy sauce in bulk. It's a Kiko Man soy sauce. I buy it in bulk and then I can fill up the little bottles simply because it's cheaper and I go through so much of it. So um, that is the soy sauce that I And cornstarch. I've gotten so many questions about cornstarch. It's really kind of um, interesting to me. Cornstarch um, is what I use to thicken the sauces with. Now, some people have asked me, are cornstarch and corn flour the same thing? And some people have said that they're the same thing in some countries. But um, here in the United States, they're not the same thing. I had a, a guy respond and give a great um, comment on the difference between cornstarch and corn flour. I can't remember it offhand. But they are not the same. Um, and for my recipes, I use cornstarch. Now, this can be substituted um, for sauces when I thicken sauces with arrowroot. Arrowroot is a great thickener too. So if you don't have cornstarch um, for the thickening of the sauces that I do, you can use arrowroot as well. So, um, but that's about it on my um, ingredients. And if I get any more questions, I will do another video similar to this one on the ingredients that I get questions on. Thank you. Enjoy.